Hi everybody, welcome back to Stalker, Shadow of that nice Ferris wheel that we have there. Uh, and in this episode, it's a very special episode. I unfortunately didn't take much feedback uh, last week because I had recorded it all beforehand because I had a really busy week. And so a lot of it was recorded beforehand. Um, people were really not happy I didn't take the VSS with me. Uh, I, I apologize greatly. I, I, I just, you know, apparently it's a really good weapon, and uh, I guess I kind of forgot about that. That's, this is kind of the reason I don't play games blind anymore, because people get really upset when I when I miss things or am not doing what they think is the proper thing. So, uh, But, you know, luckily, as I said, I, I did catch it. I did get to read it, so before I went back all the way to the bar and got it. Um, uh, the downside, though, to this is that I had to drop the dragon off and a couple of my grenades in order to make this happen. And, because this, this ammunition here, the fucking SP6 rounds are fucking heavy as shit. They're 0.7 kilograms each, opposed to the P PAB9 rounds, which are 42, and these ones are 16. So, I'm using those ones right now to get rid of as many of them as possible. But, yeah, we got this weapon now, so no one, no one, uh, you don't have to complain anymore. It's okay, I got it. You know, as I said, it's, this is kind of the reason I don't like to play games blind anymore, is, you know, it's, uh, people get upset when I, uh, when I'm missing stuff or think they're, I'm doing it incorrectly or whatever. I kind of just had, I dropped the dragon off on the ground, like, in that other room, with where the armor was, and learned a very important lesson about Stalker, and that is... Um, that the way the game handles... Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, so apparently all my we rounds and weapons went through the ground. It was up on the other uh, the floor, but now it's over here. And, uh, oh, there's the dragon off I wanted again. There's also the grenades there, but, uh, the grenades are, um... I don't know. They're a little heavy to carry. I'm not gonna carry too many of them. Because I'm just trying to get rid of the rounds, because honestly, these are really, like, really... I don't know. Really heavy. What's this guy have? He's got, like, balls. So, I, I'm running running around with, like, maximum... Uh... Whatever, in encumberment, almost. See, I can't even run that far anymore. That's why I probably should just fuck these grenades. Screw them, I don't need them. So, I, I, I... After, you know, after shooting some stuff, I should be okay. He's on my team. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're skipping that armor and some other stuff. And I, I'm trying to figure out where people are. Okay, let's go down here. You guys saw him. Now, the thing about the VSS rifle here is that it's got 10 rounds, and it's an automatic weapon. There he is. Wow. Look at that bullet drop off. I, just, I think I just shot him in the dick, and it was totally intentional. It's a, It's actually, it is a nice weapon. Uh, I, I apologize for not bringing it along with me. Just, I, I kind of didn't think about it, you know. This guy has a sh spaz or whatever a shotgun. Uh, this is a guy with the, uh, the PAB round, so we'll take some of those. This is also one of the the Gorza weapons. I could take it with me, but I think for now I'm, I'm content with just having the VSS. Alright, that's another guy. So let's continue to move up. Oh, I'm kind of getting hungry. Might as well go eat. Oh god. I chose the best time to eat. Can I bring out my sniper rifle? Thank you. That guy just completely forgot who he was shooting at. It is a really nice sniper rifle, I have to say. I, I am kind of glad I went back for it. You know, I'll say that much. I didn't mean to not take it. I just I had a I had really a, a bad conception on when Stalker's Endgame was happening. I kind of just took the thing with the highest damage, you know, because that's typically what I do in video games. That's just kind of how I play video games. Video games. All right, this guy has a sausage, so we'll take that. It's a monolith sausage. All right. Uh oh, we got a truck right there. 
We'll head over here though. You know, if, I feel like there's like a, a, a little bit of a faint line in the middle of the screen. That would be absolutely right because it's, it's the suit I'm wearing. Uh, so let's see where we are and where I have to go. Okay, so we're, we're actually heading up, up to here. We're still going to the Chernobyl NPP. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to shoot off enough of these rounds so that I'll be able to uh, actually run. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing a... Uh, I, I right now can't run around at all. Well then. Uh... God damn it. Where the hell is he? All right, let's use the binoc binoculars. Oh, that's him. I'm so glad we have binoculars. All right, so we, we could use these to kind of like, there's another guy right there. I'm just gonna assume I shot him. I know I was a bit, a bit blind in the bush there, but like with this reticle system, can you really call it like an abusing of the, the mechanics here? I guess you could. But you know, a lot of this game I've been abusing the mechanics to be honest. Like, the fact I'm leaning around corners and shooting them is because of the fact they can't actually lean that... They can't shoot people who are around corners like that that well. Alright, we're at, we're at 48 now. I was hoping to take an RPG with me, but uh... We may not actually have that opportunity. We're not using the 545 guns. I got enough of the fucking 339. Look at that, I jump and now I'm all overburdened and everything. Just eat sausage. There's really nothing else I want to drop here. Like, I need all this crap, so... The only thing I'd drop is VSS ammo, and I'm hoping just to, to fire most of that off, you know? Which, you know, we should, we should be able to in this next part. Oh, did I do it? Hopefully I did. Okay, um, I'm assuming I'm here, uh, but, okay, so the, the part you just saw me doing, that cutscene, for whatever fucking reason, triggers me to the next level. And I wanted to play this through, because I'm let's playing it, and I want to show you guys this shit. So I think I skipped past the cutscene trigger, and uh, yes, I did. Fucking, okay, I had to go... The middle there is where I'm actually supposed to... I'll show you when I kind of come out here. I'll show you where I'm supposed to go and where I skip the cutscene trigger. Uh, but I, I managed to find a way around it, so that's fortunate enough for me. Yeah, so here we are in the middle here. But yeah, it was just... It, it, I guess something is either glitchy with the mod or the game where it brought me, the fly, flying camera over to where... Uh, yeah, this is where you'd come in basically. This is we were just on the other side of that So now just pretend I'm now playing it again like I didn't have to skip over. There's no no clipping in this game or anything So I had to basically find a way around it Hey, you like that you like that shot guys. Yeah, I like the. You know, it is a nice rifle. I, I didn't mean to skip it Let's try and find some more guys Holy shit, there's a lot of things over there like look over there That uh, is death. Alright, so there's a guy right over there. It's just, uh, it's the stadium. I don't know, can, can I, do you think I could just shoot him, like, from here? Probably could do a better job. Nope, he, he's returning fire, apparently. He's firing at the trees. Fucking hell! <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, it's one down. Kind of like, you can kind of see them on top of those. Oh, there's one right there. It's a very difficult shot to make. The, the, pro the real problem is, if they decide to return fire, uh, it's they're 100% accurate. Hopefully I killed this guy. It appears like I did. Alright, now let's have a look to see if I killed them all. And that's just, uh... Those animals. Alright. Well, we got the guys with the rocket launchers, and I think that's mainly what's what, what what's important for me right now. I really need to figure out a way of uh, reducing my weight. I need to use some more of this VSS ammo. In a way that's not wasteful. Not what I wanted to see today. Oh. That is a horrifying noise. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not skip this. These are some pretty horrifying anomalies though, I'll say that much. Alright, well let's let's move through. And be very, very careful. Oh we got a heli chopper here. That has radiation in it. We can actually see. Look, check out check out my map. I can actually see where the anomalies are. So we can actually see that one right here. Whoa! And now I'm dead. That is a really really bad anomaly. The fuck? Wow. There are some really impressive, uh... Ah, fucking hell. I'm gonna try and run through this one. Nope. Oh. Uh, okay. I took a bit of damage there, but I was able to make it through. You know, I, I shouldn't even look at what those guys have. I know they have RPGs, but I, I seriously cannot carry one around with me at the moment. Not like I'd really want to. Also, my frame rate is just garbage right now. Oh, there, there's some dude dogs over there, but we'll, we'll just ignore them and go this way. So this is how we're actually supposed to get over here. To continue. Okay, so now you can tell we're back here. Um, this is what this is actually how you're supposed to make it here now. Uh, what's my weight at? Uh, not so great. So uh, this part is Stalker's Endgame. And it's fun. Well, fun relative to fun. Somebody's shooting at me. Okay, let's just heal up for a sec. Oh, uh, I, I had the flashlight on, which probably was not helping my stealth situation of not wanting to be seen. So, we're in a... Um, we're trying to get to the Chernobyl NPP. And it's going to be heli choppers and everything. Shot down helicopters for that matter. There he is.
So that would be the cavalry. They are not on my team. They were on my team. This might have been easier, but they're not. They will shoot me just as much as I will shoot them. And lag. Ow. I'm hoping that they're gonna help out a bit, but... They're probably not going to. They're just gonna talk on the radio and make me feel bad. Oh, yeah, this is what they do. They rocket. And they will rocket me if they see me. This is kind of a good thing I have a suppressed uh, weapon. What the fuck are they doing? They are lowering my frame rate. Oh god, that's a lot of uh, monolith. Okay, yeah, I'm glad you're waking up the monolith. You only get 10 shots in this VSS, which makes it not exactly the best weapon. But, it's actually still pretty good. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Find some monolith. And not get sniped. I feel like I should bin binox this. Someone's shooting at me somewhere. A fucking tank? Oh, fuck that noise. Oh, and there's a guy around that corner with a really nice weapon, too. Alright, let's just run right past the tank. Hopefully not going to die. The helicopter sees me, by the way. They don't like me much either. We'll take cover in here. Alright. So, this weapon isn't doing too well. It is the armor, really. Maybe you should start looking more people for repair kits and stuff. On the plus side, my, uh... Oh, wow. Floating barrel anomaly. What the hell? Did that helicopter just come out of the ground? <laughs> Fucking hell. This part I find to be hugely problematic because everything one hit kills me in this game. Uh, there's helicopters, there's... A whole bunch of stuff. But, like, the, those are the helicopters shooting. I have to find cover constantly. So we're gonna go this way. Alright, let's try and eat a first aid kit. That, that helicopter's gonna get me. This is very- This is one of the most difficult end games, because there's like no cover. I'm trying to run this way this time. The metric fuck ton of radiation here. And darkness. 
but honestly, this is probably preferable to dealing with the helicopters over and over again. Because I hate the helicopters. The only thing I hate more is that... Oh, God. You know, I, I have to say this, though. It's a very difficult endgame, and probably not for exactly what I would call fair reasons. Because there's just... The helicopters are all over the place. You gotta keep track of them. There's snipers with Gauss rifles. Like, that guy up here. I'm pretty sure that was the guy I killed me. I saw him in another round. And, like, there's all this foliage which will shoot me through. Alright, let's keep going. I, what was I even shot by? I don't even know. That time was like, uh, just through the wall or something. I don't, I don't even know. It's like the, the, the screen is shaking, so I can't really do anything. I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's just wait for the screen to stop shaking. Now, is this the blowout? This is the blowout. But as far as I knew, I was supposed to have time. Which I guess I kind of do. Let's just keep running through this, because I'm kind of now afraid. And it's loading something. We're, we're trying to get into the, the, the Chernobyl uh, uh, plant, plant right now, because there's going to be a blowout real soon, and the only safe place is inside the plant. And I know people are shooting at me. There's usually a timer to tell you that there is a blowout happening. So we're looking for the hidden door, and that would be it right there. Just the inside. And there's a guy waiting there for me. Okay, we gotta shoot the guys outside of it then. So there's supposed to be a timer telling me that there's a blowout coming soon. Uh, I'm starting to think that there's some kind of glitch in the UI, and it's actually not telling me that. So I don't really know how much time until I'm dead. Because that's kind of what happens. That's why they're yelling. They keep sniping me. Please, helicopters. Leave me alone. Kill the monolith. I am just a free stalker. Then again, from up there, would they really know? Alright. I don't know what the hell they're aiming at. Ah, oh, and then the guy got me over there. Fuck, it's just death here. Alright, let's try over here this time. Yeah, this is this looks like a place with better cover, to be honest. Oh. Didn't have any ammo in there. Alright. Let's try and get in there. Nope, they rocketed me right away. No, I'm not actually entirely sure how you're supposed to do this part. Um, the, lot, the first time I did it, I just ran through it all because it's just fucking ridiculous. I think maybe you're supposed to RPG the helicopters? How could one stalker handle so many? We made it in there. the hell? 
Okay, I take it that's that's a lighting glitch and that's not actually the right way anyways. Oh, here we go. 